What is going on guys? I am Dominic and it is going to be a long day here at work today. Look at this line. I'm not supposed to be doing this whatsoever, but the facility's all the way up there. There's 11 trucks ahead of me for loading. 11 waiting to load. I'm number 12. These guys next to me are behind me. Oh boy. Here comes another one in here. He's probably thinking, oh, the two of them coming in. Oh, man, that's not good. It's not well, who do we get behind? Uh, this is not normal. While it is in the wintertime here, I mean, it's not really normal for me because I usually load down the road. There's three of them coming in. Oh. Uh, awful but hey I'm driving a new truck if you guys can't tell a Lone Star absolutely love the hood I love that hood I'm over here offloading finally it's 430 it's gonna be dark and before I'm even done oh uh, what a day it's a long day waiting waiting around it sucks so bad it makes you tired It's gonna feel like the longest ride back ever that I've ever taken because it's gonna be dark the whole way back. That's what it looks like out right now. But snowy and the roads are slippery on the way over here. I would have uh, got a little footage of that, but uh, it's uh, yeah, I don't have a mount in this truck, so I don't want to carry my camera around doing this. In my opinion, that's the best hood, the best shape hood in a semi truck hands down i really like the peat hood but just like the old it looks old nostalgic it looks like a 1950s car it's I, it's awesome i'm not a big fan of looking at the back side of that uh bug guard but uh you know it works so that doesn't that doesn't bother me it really helps keep the road salt off too in the winter because it kind of deflects the, you know, the salt before it hits the windshield, rather than all the little dust that's in the air. Because I don't know if you guys maybe don't even drive in the winter time. Even when the roads have are they're dry, when the cars are going down and your windshield's a little dirty, you you go to spray your windshield. It gets wet. All that dust from the salts in the air and it just uh just sticks to the wet windshield. Or. Uh, when uh, it is a little bit wet and the cars are passing, they're throwing the water up, uh, it'll deflect a lot of the, the moisture and dust. It helps. Bugs? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I would imagine so. But any truck with a hood on it helps keep the bugs off. You can see how dirty the windshield is right now, but it's not bad. I can't wait to get home. I got one more load to do for the week today's thursday tomorrow's friday it's like november 28th or 9th i think it's the 29th there's 30 days in november it's the 29th so i've got i have to go load tomorrow but i have the option to either stop in marysville where i loaded today that was packed with that big lung i waited three hours before i got on the rack and then it takes about an hour to load so four hours all together or i can go right down the road from there to the other facility and load there if they're not packed i'll i'll drive past marysville and go load at the other place the other place won't be packed plus they have six loading racks so that'll be a lot nicer i don't want to wait you know that sucks especially on a friday is the last day for me for the week I am like kind of a go-to fill-in guy for our shop. Um, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but a lot of people don't want to work on the weekend. But this weekend, I'm not going to do anything because I've got too much stuff at home that's piled up because of going being the go-to guy. I've had to work. I changed some tires one day, and then the very next day, I went back to work. And then, you know, that was, I think, last, two weekends ago, last weekend. We went to go up north for Thanksgiving and we left Wednesday, stayed Thursday, came back Friday, I worked Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, and Friday I worked too, so. 
kind of tired. I'm kind of kind of beat up feeling. I gotta change the truck. Uh, truck. I gotta change the tires on our Escalade. I'm gonna take them off our Yukon. It has brand new tires that are all season, and it's getting slippery outside. And the Escalade has them 22 inch rims with rubber band tires. I don't think they'll do bad in the snow, but I don't think they'll do as good as the other tires. Plus, I don't really want to get uh, road salt all over those 22 inch rims. So I've got to do that this weekend. I got a breaker in my house that's messed up. It's like frying out. I got to change that before the house catches on fire and burns down. I got to put some plastic on the windows and I got to go underneath the house and put fiberglass bats up. We have a crawl space so there's vents and we need to block them because the cold air will blow right through. They're just plastic vents too. I'm sure you guys don't care about that but that's some of the things that I have to do this weekend. It has to be done. Can't wait to be home. <sighs> I tell you what, man. I can't believe that. It's so weird it doesn't pick that screen up until it's right in there. I use an iPad for my uh, uh, electronic log and like my phone calls and my text messages and editing my videos. Pretty much everything. Yeah, I'm wearing different clothes. I hope. Pretty sure I'm wearing different clothes than... It's a different day. I never finished the video yesterday. Uh, my wife came and picked me up and we drove home. And then uh, I took a couple of clips and I was going to finish it, but I never did. And So now I'll finish it. I just made it back here to our yard. I'm parked for, well, one day. It's not gonna shine past the windshield. Oh, wow, it is. Oh, wow, this is a blur bag, man. Blurry, blurry. It's crazy to me. Like, I had the uh, like first GoPro, and that thing was never blurry. It just always got good. Everything was in focus. And then you get a good camera, or an expensive camera, and it struggles to find what it's looking for. It'll keep it on like in a range like this, but then you turn it real quick and it's not. I, I don't know. I still like the quality out of it better, but. So I'm back at our yard. I had another, I don't know, today was about uh, 12 hours. Yesterday turned out to be uh, uh, like, what was it, 13 and a half hours by the time I made it back here. It was a long day that wait over there at the loading facility I waited two and two hours and 45 minutes to get loaded it's crazy today I waited 15 minutes no one was in there I'm out of hours I can't work tomorrow I've got some stuff I gotta do at home and then I'll be right back working on Sunday because it's busy see the snow out there if it'll make it past the windshield it's cold Oh, it's only November. Tomorrow's December 1st. Yeah, there's no way. Maybe this might help. No, nope, just glared off the vents. I don't know, there's some snow out there. Right now it's currently 34 degrees outside. 34 to freezing. Uh, we had some spells where it was below zero. And uh, it just came quick. Real quick, we were exempt from logbooks last winter. If any of you guys don't follow me, uh, or if I even, I probably never even made a video last winter. I know it's been a few months, but uh, yeah, we were exempt and I ran too hard to even bother trying to make any YouTube videos. Alright, guys, with that, all that, and all that. I'm going to get off here. Uh, Rachel will be here any minute now to get me, and I'm going home. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment what you think about what I do, or whatever you want to comment. I don't give a crap. If you want to uh, comment, comment. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. And uh, no matter what you do, make it look easy. See ya.